Hey everyone, welcome back. We're continuing on the reading of the Bible. We're in Deuteronomy chapter 28, picking up on verse 1. Let's begin. Oh, let me highlight this real quick. And it must occur that if you will without fail listen to the voice of Jehovah your God by being careful to do all his commandments that I am commanding you today. Jehovah your God also will certainly put you high above all other nations of earth. And all these blessings must come upon you and overtake you because you keep listening to the voice of Jehovah your God. Blessed will you be in the city, and blessed will you be in the field. Blessed will be the fruit of your belly, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your domestic beast, the young of your cattle, and the progeny of your flock. Blessed will be your basket, and your kneading trough. Blessed will be you when you come in, and blessed will you be when you go out. Jehovah will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. By one way they will come out against you. By seven ways they will flee before you. Jehovah will decree for you the blessing on your stores of supply in every undertaking of yours. And he will certainly bless you in the land that Jehovah your God is giving you. Jehovah will establish you as a holy people to himself, just as he swore to you, because you continue to keep the commandments of Jehovah, your God, and you have walked in his ways. And all the peoples of the earth will have to see that Jehovah's name has been called upon you, and they will indeed be afraid of you. Jehovah will also make you overflow indeed with prosperity and the fruit of your belly, and the fruit of your domestic animals, and the fruitage of your ground, on the ground that Jehovah swore to your forefathers to give to you. Jehovah will open up to you his good storehouse in the heavens to give the rain on your land in its season, and to bless every deed of your hand, and you will certainly lend to many nations, while you yourself will not borrow. And Jehovah will indeed put you at the head and not at the tail, and you must come to be only on top, and you will not come to be on the bottom, because you keep obeying the commandments of Jehovah your God, which I am commanding you today to observe and to do. And you must not turn aside from all the words that I am commanding you today, to the right or to the left, to walk after other gods, to serve them. And it must occur that if you will not listen to the voice of Jehovah, your God, by taking care to do all his commandments and his statutes that I am commanding you today, all these maledictions must also come upon you and overtake you. Cursed will you be in the city, and cursed will you be in the field. Cursed will you be in your basket and your kneading trough. Cursed will be the fruit of your belly and the fruit of your ground, the young of your cattle and the progeny of your flock. Cursed will you be when you come in and cursed will you be when you go out. Jehovah will send upon you the curse, confusion and rebuke in every undertaking yours that you try to carry out until you have been annihilated and have perished in a hurry because of the badness of your practices in that you have forsaken me. Jehovah will cause the pestilence to cling to you until he has exterminated you from off the ground to which you are going to take possession of it. Jehovah will strike you with tuberculosis and burning fever and inflammation, and feverish heat, and the sword, and scorching, and mildew, and they will certainly pursue you until you have perished. Your skies that are over your head must also become copper, and the earth that is beneath you iron. Jehovah will give power and dust as the rain of your land. From the heavens it will come down upon you until you have been annihilated. 
Jehovah will cause you to do will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. By one way you will go out against them, and by seven ways you will flee before them. And you must become a frightful object to all Earth's kingdoms. And your dead body must become food for every flying creature of the heavens and to the beast of the field. With no one to make them tremble, Jehovah will strike you with the boil of Egypt and piles of eczema and skin eruption from which you will not be able to be healed. Jehovah will strike you with madness and loss of sight and bewilderment of heart. And you will indeed become one who gropes about at midday, just as blind man gropes about in the gloom, and you will not make your way successful, and you must become only one who is always defrauded and robbed, with no one to save you. You will become engaged to a woman, but another man will rape her. You will build a house, but you will not dwell in it. You will plant a vineyard, but you will not begin to use it. Your bull slaughtered there before your eyes, but you will not eat any of it. Your ass taken in robbery from before your face, but it will not return to you. Your sheep given to your enemies, but you will have no savior. Your sons and your daughters given to another people, and your eyes looking on, yearning for them always. But your hands will be without power. The fruitage of your ground and all your production of people will eat whom you have not known. And you must become one who is only defrauded and crushed always. And you will certainly become maddened at the sight of your eyes that you will see. Jehovah will strike you with a magnet boil upon both knees and both legs, from which you will not be able to be healed. From the sole of your foot to the crown of your head, Jehovah will march you and your king, whom you will set up over you to a nation whom you have not known. Neither you nor your forefathers, and there you will have to serve other gods of wood and of stone, and you must become an object of astonishment, a proverbial saying, and a taunt among all the peoples to whom Jehovah will lead you away. A lot of seed you will take out of to the field, but little will you gather, because the locusts will devour it. Vineyards you will plant and certainly cultivate. But you will drink no wine and gather nothing in, because the worm will eat it up. You will come to have olive trees in all your territory, but you will rub yourself with no oil, because your olives will drop off. Sons and daughters you will bring forth, but they will not continue yours, because they will go off into captivity. All your trees and the fruitage of your ground wearing insects will take possession. The alien resident who is in your midst will keep ascending higher and higher above you, while you, you will keep descending lower and lower. He will be the one to lend to you, while you will not lend to him. He will become the head while you will become the tail. And all these maledictions will certainly come upon you and pursue you and overtake you until you have been annihilated because you did not listen to the voice of Jehovah, your God, by keeping his commandments and his statutes that he commanded you. And they must continue on you and your offspring as a sign and as a port into time indefinite. Due to the fact that you did not serve Jehovah your God with rejoicing and joy of heart for the abundance of everything. And you will have to serve your enemies whom Jehovah will send against you with hunger and thirst and nakedness and the want of everything. And he will certainly put an iron yoke upon your neck 
until he has annihilated you.